मंजिल उन्हीं को मिलती है जिनके सपनों में जान होती है पंखों से कुछ नहीं होता हौसलों से उड़ान होती है जी हाँ उन्हीं हौसलों को साथ लेकर आगे बढ़े और अपने रास्तों को तय किया एक ऐसे शख्स ने जो आज हमारे शो मेहमान में हमारे साथ मौजूद हैं जिन्होंने अपनी लाइफ के लर्निंग से स्ट्रगल से बहुत कुछ सीखा शुरुआत उन्होंने की एज ए टीचर और अब तक अगर बात करें उनके करियर में उनको बहुत सारे अवार्ड्स के साथ नवाजा जा चुका है साथ ही साथ अगर प्रेजेंट की बात करते हैं तो ही इज अ प्रोफेसर एंड डायरेक्टर ऑफ इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी रोपर साथ ही साथ वो प्रोफेसर हैं इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी मेड्रास चेन्नई के भी जी हाँ हम बात करें डॉक्टर सरित कुमार सर अ वेरी वॉर्म वेलकम टू प्रोग्राम मेहमान फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी वुड लाइक टू नो कि हाउ डिड यू स्टार्ट योर जर्नी सर अब तक का जो आपका सक्सेस रहा है जो अचीवमेंट्स रहे हैं वी नो कि बहुत सारे स्ट्रगल से होकर आपको गुजरना पड़ा होगा काफी कुछ उनसे आपने सीखा होगा सो हाउ डिड यू स्टार्ट सर See, I am from the northeast. Mm -hmm. I come from Assam, mm -hmm. a small town called Tejpur, beautiful mm -hmm. town, and I was there with our very large joint family okay. till say about fifth standard. Mm -hmm. Then I was sent to Calcutta okay. to stay with my uncle and study. Mm -hmm. So I uh, started in a school in the outskirts of Calcutta, mm -hmm. Saint John John School, Bandel, mm -hmm. and I studied up to tenth standard. so i did very well in 10th uh, standard so okay. i was there in a very reputed school in calcutta called ramakrishna mission narendrapur okay and there uh, i met amazing uh, classmates in fact one of them mm -hmm. is currently the director of uh, iit bombay he is my classmate at mm -hmm. 11 and 12 and i stayed in the hostel with him other people were also there like you know mm -hmm. the past uh, director of sac ahmedabad of mm -hmm. isro okay. tapan misro was oh, also my okay. classmate mm -hmm. so there i learned quite a lot mm -hmm. and then i got into jadavpur university mm -hmm. for undergraduate studies mm -hmm. i did also post graduate there mm -hmm. and then i took up a job yeah. as a lecturer in rec silchar that time nit was not there it was called regional engineering college mm -hmm. so in silchar i stayed very short for mm -hmm. a, about a year Yeah. and then i shifted to again rec raurkela mm -hmm. and while uh, teaching in I rec raurkela i did my phd okay and after the phd i went to germany for okay. a post doc mm -hmm. for about one and a half year mm -hmm. and came back and joined iit madras okay wow. i was in iit madras for 20 years mm -hmm. and during this 20 years i went to germany once again mm -hmm. for one and a half year and then i went to mit Mm. I was invited as visiting professor at MIT okay uh, Cambridge and uh, again as chair professor mm -hmm. at MIT and then I became the dean of uh, research at IIT Madras okay I was there for about 3 years mm -hmm. and then 4 years back I was chosen to lead IIT Roper yeah exactly and that's what I am doing today Yeah that's really wonderful sir listening about like uh, this much about you and th this is a huge journey we must say yes. uh, you have written four books also char kitabein aapne likhi hain on science and technology on heat transfer and uh, of course on nanotechnology aur uh, aapne is pe ek chapter likha hai and then ye bhi janna chahenge itna sab kuch karne ke dauran aapko waqt kaise mil jata hai ye sab kuch like uh, kitab mein bhi see my father used to hmm. say hmm. one uh, who does 100 things hmm. can do 101 also yeah of course so This is what is my philosophy. Mm -hmm. See, even today, um, I start the day seven mm -hmm. o'clock in the morning, and wow. I end probably two o'clock at night mm -hmm. every day. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think this is my habit, probably from the uh -huh. college days. Uh -huh. I mean, go late to the bed and mm -hmm. get up also a little late. I think the time management comes automatically mm -hmm. uh, with the priorities that you set. Of course, and the yeah. priorities comes from your vision, mm -hmm. and most importantly. Hmm. is the dream hmm. see i i always feel a scientist hmm. a technologist hmm. lives for a dream of course it, and and dream is you know as as abdul kalam said hmm. the dream is not something that you see in sleep yes. dream is something for which you cannot sleep of course that's how i get my time hmm. 
if you live for a dream there will be always time for doing things hmm. This is a very busy schedule that you have told us कि इतना hectic schedule रहता है कि आप रात में दो बजे भी अगर free होते हैं तो आपको सुबह सात बजे उठना पड़ जाता है तो इस सब में अपने personal life को कैसे manage करते हैं आप The thing is that you know the person who takes जी. the maximum heat hmm. for that is my wife Yeah of course I mean uh, she knows hmm. that this person is like this uh. and she adjusts sacrifices everything hmm. So I think the person who it uh, takes the maximum pressure of my time pressure mm. is my wife mm. and but even then we try to make it up mm. when we get time and that time can be very peculiar for example i am traveling to delhi yeah and she is also coming with me okay so those 5 hours of car journey uh -huh. phones keep on coming but still i don't have any concrete to do so uh -huh. i can probably talk a little bit to her you spend quality time regarding that journey mujhe right. in, in, so in the travel it's time. like that but mm. still i think it is very squeezed mm. i mean when when you try to set out to do something and then what happens even she starts dreaming the same thing oh, wow. when 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 i get for example we did very well in the national international ranking you know okay. times higher education ranking mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and she was one of the most excited people mm. who congratulated me so mm. that way i mean we start living the same dream Hmm. and probably that becomes the quality time jis tarah se aapne kaha ki higher education ki agar baat karte hain to usme top ranking mein bhi iit roper ko dekha gaya and hal filhal if i'm not wrong september mein hi uh, uh, 56 indian institutes mein bhi first ranking hasil kiya so if we talk of the major highlights and achievements so far of iit roper so what uh, would you say about that you see iit roper started uh, 11 hmm. years back hmm. towards the beginning the progress was slow hmm. uh, i took over 4 years back hmm. the main thing that challenge that was there was to scale it up okay so when i took over there were 600 students mm -hmm. and 65 66 faculty members mm -hmm. and only three engineering departments okay and so it was small in the transit campus and mm -hmm. the construction just started so the first thing was expand it of course make yes. it a complete iit mm. now the question comes what does expansion means mm. you just increase the number mm. no mm. i thought that we need a vision mm. and so, so we were the first iit mm. to take a, an exercise for creating the mission vision and the strategic plan of the institute mm -hmm. and we did it in collaboration with iim calcutta oh wow we did an exercise for more mm. than a year mm -hmm. and then arrived at our mission which says mm. that three things that we want to do mm. are contribution to knowledge mm. contribution to society mm. and contribution to the nation that is for the global outreach i yes. believe yes right? and mm. that is where we started setting up our parameters what we want to do mm. today in 4 years we are now 2000 students mm. 170 faculty members that's great and not only that you know we have come in ranking we have 11 departments mm. we have 14 post graduate courses Oh wow. And most interestingly out of 2000 students, 2004 mm. students, mm. 513 mm. are PhD scholars. Oh, 25% is PhD scholars. Wonderful. And this is how we, you know, try to look at mm. IIT Roper as a hub of research mm. among the newer IITs at the top because even not only the research amount mm. even in the quality even in the recent ranking mm. where we have scored is citations which actually indicates okay. the quality of research mm. and we took a policy very consciously that more than quantity mm. we will focus at quality of quality. research okay. and that's why among the newer iits mm. iit roper is always highest in the rate of citation okay so this is what is the focus mm. that we want to do something for the society mm. we want to do things for the nation mm. and we want to do top notch top and one notch. more thing uh, i would like to ask here is ki uh, in terms of parameters of calculating ranking sir uh, like teaching is also including in there included in that yes hmm. yes teaching hmm. is also included hmm. it it depends on what is the variety hmm. i mean teaching is taken differently by different uh, agencies of mm -hmm. ranking you know there are many agencies internationally there is hmm. times higher education there hmm. is qs nationally you have uh, nirf ranking okay. so they take it differently but more or less what is your 
teacher to student ratio mm. what are the varieties of uh, courses that you are doing mm. how is your student performing mm. say after completing a course what yeah. are they doing which job they are going mm. what kind of um, higher education uh, placement they have got okay. so all these are you know counted in mm. ranking mm. Achha, what are the criteria to get admission into iit ropa if a student wants to okay uh, very simple <laughs> <laughs> you uh, have to take je yeah. if it is undergraduate yeah. you don't have any other way mm. <laughs> that's of course the <laughs> toughest of the examination <laughs> we have also um, uh, post graduate courses okay. which are very important in mm -hmm. fact you know people always keep on talking about undergraduate and mm. je but the post graduates are nearly 50% mm. of iits mm. post graduate means including the phd but mm. there the criteria is different for example you have gate examination for mm. post graduate mm. admission jam examination mm. for post graduate science admissions okay. and the phd's mm. we take our own interview mm. we decide on the basis of that okay and you have said uh, like recently you have said that ki higher education is undergoing a substantial growth mm -hmm. so uh, what all you meant by that you see the way IIT system itself has expanded. Hmm. NIT system has expanded. Hmm. You can see that uh, the number of seats that is being increased. Hmm. So there is a huge expansion. Of course, yes. Uh, it's it's taking place not in one year but probably last twenty years. Hmm. It is taking place. But more than that, hmm. uh, what is uh, really heartening to me, what is actually hmm. I'm very excited about, hmm. that everybody, whether it is government, hmm. whether it is public, hmm. is press. or we academicians hmm. we have started talking of quality hmm. because it's only increasing number hmm. you know may satisfy the people hmm. for you know just getting a degree hmm. but it will not take our country to any place if we really want uh, you know a place in the committee of nations hmm. we need to have more innovations of course more research more you know entrepreneurship hmm. and that can happen only when the quality of education is good and mm. everybody is looking at quality you know what is ranking mm. it's talking of quality of only of course yes sanjeev uh, and but that's not the only thing mm. people are also talking of startups mm. people are also talking of you know new uh, entrepreneurship mm. talking of employability ha ah, right now people are very creative and innovative and of course yes mm. so i think you know at least this consciousness is created mm. and in the days to come i'm quite sure mm. that quality of education mm. will take Hmm. a upward turn much more than what has happened in the hmm. past as i said pehle ki iit ropa ke bare mein kuch aur aap se jane ya kin research areas ko ab tak iit ropa touch kar chuka hai we would like to know about your like hostel days your college time hai na as you are an inspiration to all of us all the people who are watching the show so uh, kis tarah ke experiences rehte the at the time you were studying in the college and you were doing your mechanical engineering <laughs> i want to be very honest yeah ki undergraduate padhai mein jab hmm. kar raha tha ji i studied not much Okay. <laughs> right. I was doing all other things. You know, okay. I was doing um, you know <laughs> student politics. Okay. Um maybe you know I was the university champion debater. Oh wow. For six con consecutive years mm -hmm. I was university champion debater. Mm -hmm. You know just a minute mm -hmm. uh, extempo speech Achha. I was always champion. Okay. So I was mm -hmm. even singing. Mm -hmm. you know, ah, very uh, nice. Taking sir. part in dramas, mm -hmm. the street nukkar natak and all mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. So um, I was doing, you know, more those things than <laughs> studies, of course, and uh, we lived an exciting student life. Mm -hmm. Frankly speaking, you know, mm -hmm. I had opinions about, you know, everything, mm -hmm. and the most important thing, huh. I may say that I didn't study mechanical engineering very much, uh -huh. but I studied other things very much. Okay. See, during my student days, mm. literature. okay uh, other kind of um, you know personal development books uh -huh. uh, critics critical uh -huh. books uh -huh. uh, i was a very fan of seeing classical films if we talk of your passion you yes. know if you would you would not uh, have been an in a mechanical engineer or you would not have been at this position right now uh, you are at then who you are as a person i see a person who is deeply interested hmm. in first and foremost hmm. literature Okay. I uh, I read a lot. Mhm. Mm Even now um when I travel international travels, you know, mm -hmm. there is 18 hours flight to US. Okay. The book that I carry with me mm -hmm. is one of the novels. Mhm. Mm I I love reading, you know, literature. Mhm. Mm And uh, because that gives you inspiration. Mm -hmm. And particularly I like the classics. You um, like liked singing also that time, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
So would you like to sing a song for us? Oh, that's, <laughs> that, that's very difficult, I think. <laughs> no, but you can try if uh, you want. Well, <laughs> Akash Bhara, Shurjo Tara, Bisho Bhara Pran, Tahari Maj Khane, Ami Pechi, Ami Pechi, Mor Sthan Bishoye, ताई जागे जागे आमर गाना कश पौरा वाव दैट्स रियली ब्यूटीफुल वंडरफुल बट आई डिड नॉट गेट बिकॉज़ आई डोंट नो बंगाली इट्स टेगोर टेगोर सॉन्ग इट सेज दैट यू सी द यूनिवर्स इज़ फुल ऑफ़ स्टार्स एंड द वर्ल्ड इज़ फुल ऑफ़ लाइफ एंड विद इन दैट आई हैव फाउंड माय प्लेस एंड दैट इज एन � Hmm. That's the beauty of life. Hmm. Acha, you have told us that you are taking classes of the students right now also, right? Yes. Uh, the place you are. So how much teaching like inspires you all the time? And, uh, oh, that's, the, that's your passion. That's the thing which inspires me hmm. most. Hmm. See, I always say, hmm. I am director for a very you know, short period, transient time. Hmm. My identity is not director. Hmm. My identity is I am a teacher. Okay. See, even now, there is a WhatsApp group of all my students, oh, wow. uh, not the uh, general students, the PhD students. Mm -hmm. They have a WhatsApp group mm -hmm. and they keep on communicating me. They communicate me not because I am the director of IIT Roper, because I am their teacher. Mm -hmm. right? That's interesting. Uh, teacher's day, from morning 5 o'clock, mm -hmm. from all over the world, mm -hmm. I start getting uh, you know, calls and uh, you know, messages from mm -hmm. my students. Mm -hmm. So that excites me maximum. Mm -hmm. Every time, I go to a class, mm. I feel the kick, like you know, I'm teaching for the first time. Even today, mm. after teaching for more than 30 years, mm. I do not go to the class unprepared. What is that first thing? I mean, which is the first thing that you think that your session is the best class, which you think is the best class, which you think is the best class, or you think that today's class is the best class. Which thing is the first thing that you think? Look, it's very difficult to say. Yeah. You understand it from the faces of the students. Yes, exactly. Mm. The moment you look at them yeah. and even the last bench fellow, uh, uh. if he enjoys, yes, exactly. he participates. <laughs> you know, participation mm. is always not by asking questions. Mm. You see that he is actually participating. Mm. So what is that first learning that you take from your parents, that you took from, from your parents, and you like apply it in whole of your lifetime so far? You see, these are the values. Mm. So most important thing, mm. for example, remaining honest. Mm. Saying is very easy. Mm. It's not very easy exactly. to be and mm. to implement it. But you know, I have seen my father, mm. my mother, to give away the immediate gains mm. for honesty. Mm. And that is what we have to do. Mm. And that is what is the most important thing in mm. life. That always you will see in the shorter terms, mm. if you become dishonest, there is a gain. Yeah, but can you leave that? Mm. Can you reject that mm. for a long term gain? And I have found that this always works. Mm. And this is the most important thing I think I have learned from my parents. Mm. What do you think according to you is the biggest achievement of your life so far? You see, um, to Michelangelo, mm. somebody said that, what is the best sculpture that you made? Mm. He said, I'm, I have not made it yet. <laughs> because the day I think this is my best, mm. that's my death as a sculptor. Of course. So I also feel that the best contribution from me mm -hmm. has not yet come. But yet if I come. have to okay. single out one or two things, mm. uh, probably uh, being invited as a chair professor at MIT, oh, wow. mm, that was one of the greatest successes because mm -hmm. you know that's the top institute in the world. They mm -hmm. won't call you unless mm -hmm. at least you have shown something. Mm. The other one is uh, the present that I'm doing, mm -hmm. bringing out IIT Roper, an mm. institute from its childhood to mm. bring it up Very in nice the world stuff. stage. Mm. Probably this is also a contribution. Mm. Mm. Probably I had to sacrifice my personal things mm. for of this course. this particular thing. Mm. But there is a different kind of pleasure. Mm. When, you know, sometimes in the evening, I just ask my driver to go to the gate mm. and I stand in front of the gate, I look at the institute and I feel, oh, this is what is my contribution to That's the nation. That's the feeling of fulfillment. And yes, it's, a, it's my contribution to the nation. Mm. And 
you know, nation is everything for me. As if I talk of IIT Roper once again, uh, what research areas you have touched into? Like uh, we have read about ki, uh, the social issues you have worked on to, uh, like uh, drugs for the cancer treatment, and then water, you know, environmental pollution. Ko kam karne ke liye you have researched on that, and also on heat exchanges. What all is it about? In IIT Roper, hmm. all the faculty members are free. Hmm to do research in whatever they like. Okay. But as an institution, because mm -hmm. we have certain goals, as mm -hmm. I said, contribution mm -hmm. to nation and contribution to the society, mm -hmm. we have you know, fabricated mm -hmm. or we have put together certain verticals, mm -hmm. which is across disciplines. Mm -hmm. One of them is water, okay. which is very important. You know, mm -hmm. Three years back, we started working on it. In mm -hmm. fact, when we started the civil engineering department, mm -hmm. you see, usually you go to any civil engineering department of this country, mm -hmm. Most of the people are from structure background, mm -hmm. construction, structures, a okay. uh, little bit, you know, few people in water resource, few people in environment. Mm -hmm. We said no, mm -hmm. we will start a civil engineering department whose focus will be water resource and environment. Okay. So I brought from IIT Rurki, Professor Kashyap, Deepak mm -hmm. Kashyap, mm -hmm. who was a top man in water resources. He was mm -hmm. retiring. I said, mm -hmm. sir, please come and build this department. Mm -hmm. So this is what I am trying to mm -hmm. do. So. Water is one of our areas. Water mm. means water purification, water mapping, water you know uh, modeling, mm. everything. Okay. So this is one. Mm. Another one is healthcare. You know, okay. cancer is a is a problem in Punjab. Yes. Particularly because you know because of the pesticides that mm. they use for agriculture and all mm. that. Mm. So there we want to go for cheap diagnostics, mm -hmm. point of care diagnostics, mm -hmm. therapeutics and things like that very nice we are also working on on you know things like drug addiction drug also? addiction mm -hmm. yes uh, uh, one of our faculty members is trying to develop uh, you know vaccine for drug addiction oh that's it which is which is means if you, mm -hmm. if you take that the drugs will not going to work on it something like that it's mm -hmm. a it's a very mm -hmm. interesting concept you know our dean of research mm -hmm. uh, professor javed agrewala is okay. working on he's one of the again he's one of the best immunologists of this country he was working nice. in imtech uh, this mm -hmm. uh, institute of microbial technology mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. uh, chandigarh we are also working on another very important thing which mm -hmm. is uh, manufacturing okay see for punjab manufacturing once punjab was at the top Mm. But we have lost it because we didn't modernize. Mm. So now we have got a wonderful group on manuf manufacturing mm. who are working mm. on uh, mm. you know, uh, new manufacturing processes like additive manufacturing, mm. coatings mm. and so on. Mm. So this is also something we are working on. Mm. We are also working on electric vehicles, okay. Okay, sensors. Mm. So these are some of the areas in mm. which we are concentrating. And you yourself are doing some research on like heat exchanges and all? Heat yes, well, I, mm. these days I find less of time. Mm. Heat exchanger has been a, my passion, ah. and nano suspension. Yeah. So, but you know, in recent times, I was I got involved mm. into one of the discussions with uh, uh, Intel. Okay. Probably we will be working on some novel cooling for laptop. If we talk of the future vision about growing uh, this growing industry, and then IIT Roper also, if I talk about our country growing in the, in the coming years, how would you see India as a country rising uh, in ten years? Let me tell you hmm. that, you know, we are we have just started our journey. Hmm. You know, in terms of industry and uh, academia hmm. and research, we are really looking up today hmm. in last 20 years we have probably prepared the ground and hmm. we are getting launched now hmm. why i am telling that as i said hmm. that i see now within the indian academia within the indian researchers hmm. the zeal to do something hmm. uh, to beat the world hmm. see when i look at 30 years back hmm. If we would have published a paper in an international journal, mm. we are, oh great, we have done it. Mm. But today nobody is looking at just publishing a uh, you know, research work. Where am I publishing? Mm. Is it the top journal? How many people are citing it? Mm. Okay, did I bring out any, any technology out of that? Of course. Did I make a breakthrough, something groundbreaking? Mm. You know, when I, particularly the younger people, mm. When I meet them, mm. they are looking for that. Who are the future of a country, of course. And that's why, you see, I see a great future, mm. not only of this country, but also 
you know very selfishly i will say the newer iits <laughs> the reason being mm. iit ropad mm. the average age of our faculty is 38 only okay okay and they have tremendous amount of energy and mm. passion for research mm. and this is how i think this country is going to grow of course so i, I see a really great future mm. i think the government is also realizing that mm. see in last 5 years if you look at the kind of projects which has come up you know uchchatar avishkar jayana mm. you know gyan program the other kinds of you know uh, spark mm. program mm. okay so and government is also doing and taking initiatives with respect to like uh, taking steps towards uh, uh, yeah a lot of you see yesterday i was here uh, for launch of one 1000 phd fellowships mm. for the students from asian countries okay now we we are opening our education system mm. for foreigners to come mm. so well it has happened little late but mm. it is happening mm. and that's and a feeling of like a great feeling that they are coming to us for study i am mm. an eternal optimist mm. i feel you know even when i took over mm. people were asking you know well it, your institute started very slowly and all that i said so what mm. today is the day <laughs> you start it from here yeah. and i think this is same for the country also mm. doesn't matter you know we should not always look back and what happened and we mm. could not do and all that see is it a fact that 30 years back when i was going abroad mm. everybody used to look at me and saying oh this bechara scientist from a poor country mm. that was the attitude if i used to go to west mm. today it's not when we go they the look at us changed, as yeah. competitors mm. that has changed so if somebody says nothing is happening i think you know i'm not ready to take that mm. today if you look at every year on on every aspect of research you know scientific innovation we are going up at last i would like to ask any message for our youth of the country well i think you know one thing i would tell everyone that the youth should mm. try to excel not by taking shortcuts of you know, course uh, and today one thing that the youth know mm. that is what is the world standard because at the click of a mouse or on your mobile phone you know what is happening everywhere in the world mm. so global standard will not be brought by one institute one government you know a one state government one uh, central government mm. or one uh, agency it has to be a people's movement mm. to become great mm. in the world they have to join hands they have now. to join hands and they have to be sincere about that mm. not any shortcuts mm. i would say that mm. and as far as my personal things are concerned i would like to end by saying that you know there are many people who have helped me in my entire life the most important of course is my wife mm. who has stood you know in all kinds of situation when mm. things are tough she is the only one you know who took care of you took mm. care of me but at the same time i would pay my homage to my teachers in mm. particular mm. you know two of them i would tell that one who taught me in the primary school mm. you know, that lady who used to come every day to our house to teach me she was not very educated mm. but she used to tell me the stories mm. she used to tell me the you know history of mm. this country mm. that created the passion in me mm. another teacher in my secondary school uh, who taught me science mm. you know he also did the same thing mm. so i think they are the people oh, wow. whom i should pay him That's really nice sir and it was wonderful having you on the show thank you so much for giving us your precious time we feel honored to have you here sir thank, thank you thank you thank you very much सो so, आज हमने बात की डॉक्टर सरित कुमार दास जी के साथ एक बार फिर आपकी मुलाकात एक खास शख्सियत के साथ जरूर करवाने के लिए हाजिर होंगे तब तक हमें दीजिए इजाजत और आप रखिए अपना और अपने अपनों का बहुत अच्छे से ख्याल नमस्कार